Well, first of all, thank you for coming. <laughs> And secondly, I want to say congratulations because I know you and your wife are expecting a third child, are, correct? Yeah. Yes, yeah, a yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never really imagined, like, uh, you know, with you, I would think you, I wouldn't think of you as the guy who would just be knocking out the kids like that. <laughs> Not that I don't think you couldn't do it. I definitely, I know for sure you can. Do you uh, think it's a good idea? I do think it's a good idea, yeah. yeah. How many? Three for you, yeah? Three, I don't know. I, part of me feels like, uh, you know, to, like, put a cork in it <laughs> after this. Yeah. Um, but then, alternatively, I feel like we make really great kids, and I kind of, like, maybe we'll just, if my wife's willing, do it until we can't do it. I see. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. you're driving this train, Listen, huh? it's all up to her. I mean, come on. It is. I yeah, just, right. I do the fun bit, and then... Yeah. <laughs> you know? Right, right. Yeah. yeah, three kids is... You know, it seems exponential in a way, because the one kid is, like, is very reasonable, yes. and then two kids, like, all right, well, they entertain each other. Yes. And then three kids, you might as well have ten of them. That's what I feel like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might as well. Not? Now, do you schedule your, like, movie shoots around when the... Babe, because yeah. how does that work? Everything is planned out in advance. I wish, I wish. I think for the, this one, uh, I'm going to have a lot more control over. The first two, I was sort of at the mercy of uh, Fifty Shades' schedule. So I see. Yeah, the first one we had in Canada, and I started filming three days after she was born. Second one we had in London, and I flew to Canada. Uh, ten days later and started filming the second There's movie. a lot of passports in your family. <laughs> a lot of passports. Yeah. Um, and then the third, yeah, I'm, you know, I've never missed a birth. I, I would, couldn't live with myself if I missed the birth. Right. Uh, but this time I'm trying to take proper time off for a few months after as well, so. Yeah, I guess you don't get paternity leave when you're shooting a movie. No. No, people don't care. care. care less. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know else who yeah. couldn't care less? The baby couldn't care less. The baby <laughs> is just like, I'm coming whenever. Yeah, no, exactly. We've spoken about your dad before, and we I think it's lot. relevant <laughs> here because your dad um, it was an OBGYN and yes. delivered... How many babies did your father deliver? delivered over 6,000 babies. Will he deliver... Does he deliver your <laughs> babies deliver for me? you? <laughs> um, uh, no, 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 no. That, come on, that's, that's no. weird. Did he deliver... <laughs> did he deliver you? No, he didn't, no. Uh, he did not. He nearly missed me, actually. Um, you think my, my dad, who's an obstetrician, and uh, my mother was a nurse, and you think, you know, they would have it down in terms of, like, timings and stuff. Yeah. And my mum got induced because she was a bit late with me and, uh, you know, all under Dad's sort of plan. And then he decided to go on, like, a day trip with my sisters to visit this really duff castle <laughs> in, like, in Northern Ireland. So, uh, and this is before mobile phones or anything. Yeah. I think he got, he got bleeped. Do you remember, like, a bleeper? We call them beepers. Yeah. <laughs> we call them bleepers? We call them beepers as well. Do you? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm, uh... Yeah, beep I'm, I'm, I don't know. Bleep I'm, is I'm, when you say the F word on no, TV. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm very jet like I'm not convinced what we call... Anyway. So, anyway, we nearly, you know... Then they called, like, the phone at the castle, and, like, uh, it sounds really grand. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. But he... And they he, said, get home. He made it get to the hospital. Wow, to miss... It's one thing to almost miss your child's birth when the kid comes at will, but yes. to miss an induction when <laughs> you are an obstetrician I is know. I know. just flat-out irresponsible I know, I know, is what I it is. I know. So I mean, you're, are, you're, are there three siblings in your family as yes, well? Yes, I have two older sisters, yeah. Isn't that... It's interesting. I think a lot of people will have the same amount of kids as they yeah. had in their family because yeah. that's what seems right. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm not sure it felt right to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> my, my family, I got tortured. You, oh, you did, yeah, yeah, by your older sisters? Yeah. Which of your sisters was more torturous? My middle sister, my Jessica, my middle sister. Mm -hmm. had a very uh, tumultuous uh, relationship growing up. And she's very violent with me. She is. Yeah. In what ways was she violent? I feel like my elder sister was better. At she, like, sort of, uh, she just was like, <laughs> who cares? But she used to dress me up and stuff. And, <laughs> really? You know, well, that's probably why I'm an actor, but she used to, like, put, like, you know, wigs on me and, <laughs> and, uh, and, and dresses. I was totally down with it. And then my other sister used to um, beat me around the head with a remote control. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
So that was... Uh, that was, was it one of those of big remote yeah. controls from the old days? Yeah, that, exactly. That's when it was like a brick. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. She would hit you with the remote control. Yeah, she would. That wow, her, that could that ruin a remote control. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, we were going through remote controls quite rapidly. And How did, did your parents just let you fight it out, or was there any kind of... Uh... Mm, we had this weird thing in my family where we used to... Uh, I didn't think it was weird, and then I talked about it in, a, in an interview recently. But we used to write each other letters. That's how we dealt with um, any kind of uh, conflict within the family. And you just write a, a wee letter and stick it through the under the door of whoever you were having a fight with. Really? And then you'd read it and respond, and then you'd go downstairs and everything would be fine. Hold on a second. So if there was a fight raging, oh, yes. you're definitely not Italian, I can tell you. Um, <laughs> if yeah, there's yeah. a fight going on. Yeah. You would, on your own, think, well, I'm going to put the, this in a writing, or would your, your parents say, you'd better write No, we'd do this. it on our own accord, because that was it, we learned it from our parents. They did it. My dad would still be a fan of writing a letter. Uh, he'd be more of an email man now, probably, but, like, back in the day, this was years, this was, you know, 30 years ago, um, we used to do the letter thing. and Because I, I think in your... I hate fighting, uh, you know, unless I've had a few drinks, but I don't... Like, <laughs> that, that thing of... Um, Shouting at someone you, you know you love and you know they love yeah, you. Yeah, right. Uh, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And sometimes you just say, when you're in that rage or whatever it is, you say things that you really wish you didn't say. But with a letter, you can sort of take your time, you can edit, you can... And you're, you're much more poetic when you're writing. I think you, you, you're, you're, you sound more intelligent. Wow, this is so anti-American. I mean, really, <laughs> like... If President Trump gets hold of this, you're deported. I mean, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> his, his, oh, that's yeah. his whole philosophy. Wow. wow. Thanks for watching. And remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.